Hey, I'm with the poison, toys and noise and honey stacks, toys and make your honey frozen. So I mean, no, but I mean, why you wanna mean? When I'm up, no, all they say is body man. Tell you try, cause we're fine, I'm not trying. Hey, when I hit it, come on, single guy. Hey, come on, single guy. Hey, when we walk by, we are bad, we are bad. Six months, we are bad, so I'm shy, you tell you bad. Mong, one and your swank, Mong, one and your swank, No? Yeah, when I do, people laugh. I just know you gotta do the head. But you've just gotta look serious, guys. Buttering bread. Oh, 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 I'm scaring myself. Guys, we're gonna run out of time. We really wanna get to our woman crush yes. Wednesday today. Welcome back, it's Trending SA. All right, so let me just tell you a little bit about this incredible actress who is going to be here in studio with us. She is one of South Africa's most recognized actresses, having been in two hit shows. We're gonna try not to fan out, right, Siskuli? Oh, Mr. Sakaya. Locked Oh, and Uzalo. She's appeared in a, 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 a couple of television ads as well, recently joined the world of radio. Before she joins us, we want to show you her in action. Mm -hmm. Okay, have a look. I'm calling now. I'm going to go back and find out. I'm going to talk. I'm going to be there. I'm a person of body. Oh my gosh, she's so amazing. Our oh, woman crush Wednesday, the ever so talented and beautiful Dawn Tandega King. Hey. Yes! Yes! Hey. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. We are not worthy to touch you. They know you as Uma Zet. <laughs> Can you tell I'm obsessed? Can you tell? We're obsessed. We love you. We think you are the best thing. On. Yeah. My earrings even came off. Yeah. That's how hectic <laughs> this is. We love you. Lala, Shoot. but um, t you have an English surname. Your name is Tandeg. Tell us about your surname. How did you um, get that surname? I was brought up by my stepfather. And my stepfather has uh, quite a lot of things. Uh -huh. that float in his DNA. <laughs> <laughs> a mix yes, of sorts. Yes, he's a, a mix of sorts. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very so nice. So let's take it back to school. So you're at uh, Natal Technicon, you're doing drama, yes. but then you spent 10 years yeah. doing hospitality and tourism. Why? It's very interesting <laughs> that you guys have that picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Graduation. Um, okay, so how it happened was um, I finish third year, done. Mm. And that's when you wake up like, I don't have school to go to, I don't have a job. Mm. So there were, uh, there were auditions at the Bat Center before Nabandu who were going to uh, go and work at a cultural vi village. But these people must have theatrical background. And so I went for the interview and I got the job as a tour guide for tourists wow. at a place in the northern part of KZN, wow. which was actually the set for Shagazu. Wow! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> so then I, that's how I got into the tourism industry, okay. and then by default the hospitality Tenancy, industry. Yeah. Because after that, after three years of me being at that place, 
they were like, okay, we either lose her or we give her another job. So mm. I was given a job at the regional office uh, for Protea Hotels. Okay. Sure. And then okay. I joined the sales and marketing team. She sure. was good. That's and that's where I stayed for like forever until I was like, enough. I've got to do something yeah, about this energy that, that is, you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's talk about about that enough moment. And and I guess mm -hmm. bringing it to realization, you actually moving from the space you were in mm -hmm. into the industry and playing the space of the arts. How did that transition come about? Uh, I used to suffer a lot from depression. Like every two years I would be hospitalized because oh, I was that's okay. depressed. Seriously? Uh, yes. And um, one of the things that my therapist always spoke to me about was to actually give a chance to what I'm gifted in, which is performing. Mm -hmm. And I was very scared to leave the comfort of the corporate industry. A salary. Mm. You know? <laughs> I was very scared because I had kids and I had responsibilities. Mm. Mm. But in 2010, I just, I couldn't. I think I shut down for the last time I had my worst breakdown. Mm. And I, I said, I couldn't. I, I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I was gonna quit and I was gonna stay at home and I was gonna be cool. And my friends always encouraged me. My friends were in the industry way before, the people I studied with. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking Siabo Ngashibi, I'm talking Porsche Gumet. Wow. Those are the people, they were like, but, but couldn't we give this a try? So I got an agency with the help of Porsche. And Amazing. actually that's 2012 wow. was my first gig in Kaaba and the rest is Isn't history. Isn't that shocking? Oh, it is. Can, shocking. I, can I expand on that? And I know you're going to talk about, um, you know, people in the media talking about their depression. But can you talk a little bit about um, being a mother and being in the space of, you know, having to be the all nurturing, all caring. But there's a very important mm -hmm. part that as a mother, you must look after your own passion, mm -hmm. your own life, your own mental health. Mm -hmm. I learned that. I learned that without realizing I was actually learning it. Yeah. Because I had to fall very, very deep, deep, deep down in the very dark hole for and me to actually... it's dark. Yeah, it's very dark. And people don't... I think the reason I want to talk about it more is because people don't understand how dark it is. Yeah. Mm. And people who, who are hospitalized or who suffer from depression never get a chance to actually talk. They don't get these platforms yes. to actually talk yeah. about it. And to actually say, when I am hospitalized, all I want is to get out there and tell people about the seriousness of yeah. this. I mean, it cannot have um, doctors. It cannot have institutions that are dedicated if to taking care of people yeah. if, if it really didn't mean much. If yeah. it meant you were just sad, yeah. Yeah. you know, and you just can't get up the next day. You just can't get up, period. And you don't even know why you can't get up. Yeah. And so that's what I went through. And I'm happy I can actually talk about it without feeling guilty or without exposing myself because I've, I've been through it. I can still go through it. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. I thought when I was in this space, then I was good. But in 2016, I crashed again sure. because I, I, I wanted too much out of myself. Mm. And I was, I, I was um, faced with the fact that I now am living my dream. I have to allow myself to live the dream. You have to. I'm sure. away yes. from my family oh, and constantly hard. feel guilty because I don't live with my kids. Mm. And there's a lot falling apart, that, but there's a lot that's happening. Mm. And you, mm. just, you just cannot strike the balance until a point where you're like, I can't do this anymore. Mm. And you crash again. And it's not because you've called it upon yourself or you've done something. It's just when your, your mental space, your emotional space just needs help time mm. out mm. and you just you just have to say i need help i knew there was a reason i loved you so much <laughs> i knew when i was watching you as my Z, i knew i knew i knew i knew because that is the essence of everything mm. yes that that life ebbs and flows and that you don't there's a reason why we are created to be siblings that we are created to be families because yeah. you mustn't carry it all alone yeah. you must yeah. never carry it yeah. all alone and this thing of everyone thinking that we must it's it's crazy. So what let's talk about Mazet. Let's talk about characterization like of Mazet. My entire I mean, family. Oh, oh, yes. Some people that have gone. Oh, that's amazing. You guys are not right. <laughs> but we're good at what we do, just like you. Can we talk about characterization? Yes. Because this woman 
is exactly that. She is strong, she's powerful, she's frightening, she's fierce. Mm. How did you step into that character? Mm. How did you prepare for her? I always say Mazette found me somehow at my most vulnerable. And so because, because of her story, the fact that she's in jail because she killed someone who was trying to rape her daughter, someone who mm. had raped her, mm. and that's how mm. she got pregnant, and this person was trying to do the same thing to his sure. own daughter. And so these are the things that I, I care to talk about. These are the things that I care to share. These are, yes. these are the things that I want to be a part of. Mm. Um, I wanted to make her so true that she had to be covered with such a hard shell on the inside because she's so soft on the mm, inside. Mm, mm, on mm. the outside, she has this hard shell and she puts up these walls sure. because she doesn't want anyone to get to that place. The only time we ever faced the story itself of, of why she was in jail, her telling her daughter was just one, one episode and one scene. I broke for real because of how serious that story is, of how many girls out there yeah. have had to go through that, how many women are in jail yeah. because of that. Mm. So now here's an opportunity for me to actually tell a story via a character called Mazette, but a story that affects so many mm. people out yeah. there. Yeah, and, and we don't, we actually don't know half the stories of why those women are in women prisons. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So how do you get to Mazette? A lot of people will, act and as soon as they cut they walk off go on their phone they back to themselves but mm -hmm. how do you get into the spirit of mazet the weird thing is i've i've now only realized that my calling i have this calling because i'm nisango mm. but i've realized now that i'm in this industry that i'm a different kind of isangoma than the one i thought i was i mm. thought but then, because I accepted my calling, I was opening my talent up because my acting is my calling. Mm. And so when you are given an opportunity to become other people, it becomes an almost complicated thing to explain when you're a spiritual person mm. because you actually feel this energy descend Ooh. and you can actually feel it yeah. when you are in the right space and when you are prepared for it, with me, Mazet comes on. We're out of time for this oh, segment, so but sorry. please stay with us until sure. after the break. Do you mind? I don't know what to say. I'm like, in studio with us. What an amazing woman! Oh. Our woman Crush Wednesday. The king. <laughs> oh, the king. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Welcome back. This is Trending Essay on SABC3. We are still with our Woman Crush Wednesday, Dawn Tanjaka King. And uh, we're going to play a game now with you. Okay. Rory Sang's got a, a box of tricks, right, babe? Yes. So we want to get to know you a little bit better. Okay. Um, so we're going to give you a sentence. You need to complete it. Everybody's going to pick a question. I'm going to start. 
During the weekend, you need to complete. During the weekend, I... I sleep a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's okay. it? That's it, actually. Recharge. I've actually realized the importance of sleep. Mm. Sure. Okay. Uh, my biggest regret ever is... Not taking my dance classes seriously. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, that's good. I was lazy. And don't worry, you still can. My favorite South African actor is... Pamela Nomve. Yes! 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 Queen! Yes. for that. Queen! <laughs> right, mine is... My all-time crush is... B.B. Wine. <laughs> and he's aging well. He is! With the... Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm I'm so so my he, is. He, does. he looks great. He looks like a great Emerging. grandpa. Well, so listen, we, we appreciate you. Thank you for the work that you do on screen and off screen through uh, talking about such important issues. Our Woman Crush Wednesday, Dawn Tandega King. Thank you for being here with us again, darling. Thank you. Rory Sun. Uh, thank you for being here with us again, darling. Thank you for being here with us again. That oh, jeepers. Okay. Well, <laughs> so if we survive this group hug.